few years ago, I featured anomalies I discovered at a site in Utopia, Planitia. I had a look at the photograph once again and found a ton of anomalies that I skipped over the first time. So let's have a look at the photograph and the additional anomalies I found. The high-rise team calls this photograph survey thermophysical boundary. It was acquired by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter on the 23rd of July 2008 at a resolution of 30.5 centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing you anomalies cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file just over 800 megabytes in size. And there's a look at the strange surface features. The anomalies I'll be showing you are littered amongst this humongous boulder field. In the center of Utopia Planitia, at about 47 degrees 3 minutes north, 118 degrees 23 minutes east. We'll have a look at the anomalies I discovered previously as well as the new ones towards the end of the video. And we'll have a look at some of the other sites close by. So to start off with, right there in the center of the screen, we're looking at that strange alignment of similar items in a row. I'd say that piece there is about 8 meters across. So let's take a closer look at the alignment. It looks like three spherical or dome-like objects aligned in a row at equal distances between them. And then there's a groove or slot, maybe a raised area here, parallel with that row of three items. And we see that alignment in this piece as well. Check that out. Let's take a closer look. And again, we've got three similar dark spots. Are they caused by dome or spherical protrusion-like anomalies casting shadows, or might those be holes? But look at the equal spacing between those as well. There we've got the same type of alignment. Take a closer look at that. So check that out folks, are we looking at shadows or possibly holes in a row over there parallel with this one side. There we have the same type of alignment, closer look reveals equal spacing between those. In this case these look like protrusions, like dome or spherical objects aligned in a row on this item and there we've got a similar occurrence check this out guys similar spacing between those once again we've got that alignment there and over here so let's zoom in on that piece it's about 8 meters across and 3 objects in a row parallel with this one side. And then that item over here to the left, slightly offset on the one side but we've got 3 smaller objects arranged in a row as well. Again, we've got that appearing on that object. Then we'll have a look at triangular depiction. So let's zoom in on that item about 8 meters to 10 meters across. And there we've got three dark spots in a row as well. Equal spacing between them. Let's zoom in on the triangle depicted on that item. Check this out folks, this is one of many perfect triangle depicted in that 
geometric pattern. Let's take a closer look at that too. Also, these look like protrusions or knobs casting shadows on that strange teardrop shaped piece. There we've got another triangular depiction, folks. Check this out. And then this one, we've got an additional smaller item in the center. Check this out. The triangle, and right there in its center, we've got this smaller spot. But the geometry and symmetry in these patterns is absolutely astounding. And in this semi-circular depiction, this item is about 10 meters across. Check this out. One, two, three, four, five. Arranged in a arc. And the spacing between those is also very, very strange. Then we're looking at objects with smaller protrusions. Knobs or objects in their centers. This one looks like some type of structure that's about let's see six meters across roughly and uh, we've got uniformity in the width of here then the small part on the top right there in its center it looks almost like a craft actually as well We've got that type of alignment there, as well as over here. And zoom in on that item, about six meters across. And in its center, we've got that small protrusion or knob. Yeah, it's repeated again. And it's right there in the center. And that continues in this object. Check this out. Yeah, we've got an oval shape part. Get the alignment of those small protrusions over there as well on those parts. Right there in their centers. But let's zoom in on this. This one's got like an arch running over the top and if that there could be an opening next up we're looking at these huge slabs or they look like slabs these are top down views so can't say if that's a block but from the shadow it's casting it looks like a thinnish slab this is about 12 meters across check that out right there in its center folks and there again same type of alignment more of a rectangular slab of yeah this looks like a broken up ancient structure it could be dry clay as well that cracked up maybe this is an old dried out lake bed who knows folks but the alignment and the number of these alignments tells me there's something behind this that I think indicates intelligent design what are the chances of nature forming so many of these patterns time after time after time There again, check that out. Similar item over there. Unfortunately, this is in the part of the photograph that really breaks up quite badly when you zoom in on it. Again there, that design is repeated on this object 
Yeah, we've got a disc shape, but right there, slightly offset to its center is this dome to the left. And we're looking at similar blocks over here, guys. Let's take a closer look. Still next to one another in a row. These small parts or protrusions in their centers. Similar size and shape. Got the right angles, straight edges. Yeah, to the left we've got a long rectangular part now here to the left of this one a similar rectangular part when you look at the length so could this have been part of some type of megalithic structure and we're only seeing the top part sticking out everything's covered in sand Check there again, similar type of block or slab with the protrusion in its center. This is a rather odd one. Looks like rectangular structure slightly tilted up with a potential opening here, or could that be another one of those long, narrow rectangular parts of here to the right hand side and again the smaller object casting a shadow in the center of that object again another block with a long narrow rectangular part of here to the left it looks almost as if that there is an opening could this be a hatch that's opened, who knows folks, look at the uniformity in the thickness of this block then it's got this strange attachment sticking out of the one side could that be some type of outpost we're looking at that there, this is also very strange not just the rectangular part with the small object in its center, but the alignment of similar width narrow objects in a row next to it. it looks very artificial as well. Check out this block. It's got like a bevel on the one side. The right angles slightly rounded design the bevel seems to be machined into it and then these two raised parts running through the center of that this is also an odd piece we've seen similar shaped items in other sites check this out Looks like there's a smaller part that's missing that fits into that opening or cut out there. Like the megaliths that we find at ruins down in South America, the right angles. And then the customary protrusion or knob. Right up to the northern mid-latitudes to Utopia Planitia. To zoom out to give you some context. We've got Tal over there. Viviero over here to the north. And this is the site we analyzed. Survey Thermophysical Boundary. There's a look at the anomalies I previously featured. And obviously since then, my analyzing technique has improved. So I spotted a whole lot of extra items. 
Let's just briefly have a look at those once again. I don't know why the image is bouncing up and down so much. Apologies for that, folks. Looks like the CPU or GPU is working overtime. It is very warm here in the studio. So it could be throttling CPU and GPU. But there you go. Let's have a look at anomalies I spotted at this site. Again, three in a row, parallel edge of the yard, the right angles, very similar to that block I showed you with a small part missing. This one's also got a protrusion on it. Very strange disc with this. It looks almost like a drumstick shape to that part. That disc there is about 12 meters across, if I can recall correctly. Again, a block with a bevel on it. Get the design of here. Two rectangular parts, parallel with this one side. Equal width to those two. Block on top of a slab, in this case. This item reminds me of the one I showed you. Let's just go down to it quickly. There. Very weird similarity over there. The alignment of this protrusion offset at 90 degrees or perpendicular to that long narrow slot. Four blocks still neatly arranged. Next one another there. Looks like an opening in this block. Could that be an entranceway? Could that be a container? Who knows? Three items in a row there. Again another strange triangle depicted on that item. That concludes this presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care everybody, I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye for now.